So I got a comment this week from a person that's having an issue whenever they are trying to install TWRP on their Redmi Note 7 or Redmi Note 6. Now I know a lot of people have issues with the command prompt and entering things into a command line, which is basically what using ADB and Fastboot tools entail, which is what is required whenever installing TWRP. However, for some reason there are some people who end up having this cannot load twrp.img no such file or directory error. Now usually that is because the path to the twrp.img file is wrong. So here is the whole command, but most likely this person did not have the twrp file in the same folder as fastboot or he was running the fastboot command not in the same folder, like maybe he had ADB and Fastboot tools installed in two different folders. Whatever the case is, there are even some people who do not have extensions visible in Windows, so they are just going to see TWRP or TWRP dot dash and then the version number and then the code name, and, and they're not going to see that dot IMG. So when they go in and add the .img, what they're actually doing is naming it like this. It becomes .img, .img. And you can check this by right clicking and going to properties to get the full file name as opposed to the file name that's being displayed. However, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you another way around this that will hopefully solve any type of file path issues that can that come with the cannot load twrp.img no such file name or directory the only thing that's required here is that you have a command prompt or windows powershell in the same folder as your adb and fastboot tools so for me that needs to be adb and fastboot tools need to be in this folder the dlint folder but if you open this up in, say, here, then you would need to have, because, you know, we can easily open up a PowerShell specifically in that folder, but we would need to have ADB and Fastboot tools in that folder. So assuming you have that done, you have the option to drag and drop the twrp.image file into the command prompt window. So for this specific example, the person is doing fastboot space flash space recovery space twrp.img. So we're going to eliminate any type of user error or any type of computer error, whatever the case may be, of just typing out that file name. So what we do is we type out fastboot space flash space recovery and then a space on after the recovery part and now just like I said we can drag and drop so we have the twrp.img file we can drag and drop that into the command prompt and that's going to put the full file path so instead of having ADB and Fastboot tools in the same folder, you can keep the TWRP image file in a different folder and then just drag that file into the command prompt to get that full file path added to your Fastboot command. As you can see, it's, at first it seemed like the person didn't rename this to twrp.img they said they did rename that so it's possible that this person is actually having that double img issue where they don't have extensions enabled to be displayed so when they rename it they're actually renaming it twrp.img.img so even in this case, if this user 
were to type out that command, fast boot, space flash, space recovery, and then a space at the end, and then drag their double IMG named file, it will show it properly there. So again, hopefully this is just one of another video to help clear up some issues. This is just one person that uh, had the question this week, but I've had this pop up in comments on my website and on YouTube videos a whole bunch. So hopefully if people are having issues with the file path, and this works for anything as far as fast boot, any, any type of fast boot command that we do, whether it's a kernel or the recovery, um, we can just drag and drop those image files to the command prompt to fix this cannot load twrp.img no such file or directory error.